Hey everybody, it's me, Akasha Wolf. So, hi you guys, I know it's been a while and I haven't posted in a really long time. A lot has been happening and there's a lot of changes coming, but I think positive changes hopefully. First off, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, sorry for being gone for so long. It's just, I've been having so much stuff go on that like, I just haven't really taken the time to be doing videos, which I should have, you know. There's things with work and everything, and I finally just decided that I want to move forward and start doing things that I want to do, which has to do with this channel. I want to make sure that I keep on doing my stuff when it comes to witchcraft, and I want to move into something to where I can incorporate that with my work, like with what I'm going to be doing for a living, you know. So right now I'm working on going to school, hopefully I'll be starting in April. Only right now, the issue is, you know, finances and stuff like that. But, um, what I decided that I'm going to start doing here on the channel, which is something everybody has been waiting for, um, is readings. Now, before I get into that really quick, I just wanted to first let you guys know, yes, today's video is going to be about how I found my magical name. And this also has something to do with kind of what I'm going to start doing now with reading. I'm going to start making readings available. I will be, you know, charging and stuff, but I am trying to make sure that uh, it is affordable. And something else I'm going to start doing is live streams. And it's not necessarily readings are going to be live streamed, but there will be a lot of opportunities where I will be providing, you know, little mini readings here and there during the live streams. Um, you know, donations and stuff can be made and everything like that because I do understand that, you know, my audience and the wolf pack is, you know, many different ages and stuff. So I know not everybody can go and get a reading and stuff, but I will also make it to where you will have many opportunities to win readings and stuff. But uh, readings right now is something that I want to start doing. Uh, everyone is always asking about it, but I finally, for the past couple months I've been setting things up so that that way it'd be organized as much as I can um, to get this set up and start scheduling everything. Now the first ever live stream that I do want to have is going to be this upcoming Sunday. So that will be January 14th is going to be the very first live stream. And during that live stream I will be talking about uh, psychic readings and the paranormal. So that'll basically be like a Q&A and then I might pull a couple cards for anyone who decides to join in on the live stream and I will be doing that on you now. So hopefully you guys have the app you now. If you don't, maybe try to get that together before we start uh, on Sunday and then that way we'll be able to sit and communicate with each other and just talk and um, also answer a couple questions. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But for now, if you are looking to get a reading, they are available now, and you can follow my page on Facebook, and this is Akasha Wolf Services. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't think of anything better to put, so if you guys get any better ideas, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try to change that name, and then I'll leave it in the description of this video, so that that way you can click it, and it'll take you right on over there. I do want to start doing things uh, again when it comes to crystals and tarot cards like I've been working you guys I've been working and getting things together like remember when I first started doing the uh, tarot videos I was like oh I couldn't find my big cards well I found them I have my giant tarot cards I found them and I've been getting things together so that that way I can start doing what I love doing. Alrighty you guys, so now that that's out of the way, um, all the information you will be needing will be down in the description below. Let's get started with this story. The reason why I kind of wanted to share this is because along with getting things together when it comes to doing my psychic readings and everything and getting that started and going to school and everything, basically I had to kind of like legalize in a way the name so that that way I can use it in a business because right now the money I want to earn is to go to school uh, because the school is not cheap which is the main reason why I've been avoiding it for so long um, 
so basically this, I'm gonna you know try to work my hardest to make sure I make enough to be able to go to school and then I have something that I want to do after school is done which I'm going to be sharing with you guys later once I get things uh, together so I have been taking the steps to get things in order for that and basically I had put in papers and everything for Akasha Wolf to be official. It's not, you know, my legal name, but it's technically like my company name. And all of that was finalized October 13th, which is like super cool that it was on October 13th. So from there, I'm like, for the longest time, everyone has known me as Akasha Wolf and I just have never told the story of how I was able to find my magical name. So this had like, I've been practicing for a really long time, it's just I've never really had a magical name. Like I've played the longest time with many different little names and I was even trying to like incorporate something based off of, you know, my birth name. But it just, nothing stuck. But when I got to the point where I knew that I was very comfortable in my practice and I was actually doing well in my practice and in my spells and different things that I was doing, I'm like, it's time for my name. It's time for me to search for it. Now, there are a lot of witches out there who will do a ritual or they will have a priestess, you know, do a ritual at the coven and then help get your name that way. Uh, some people will find it in meditation or trances, different things. There's all kinds of different ways to find a magical name. Dreams, you know? So for me, I was searching for it, but I also kind of wanted it to come to me. But when I had finally decided that that's what I wanted, it was just stuck in my head constantly for a very long time. Not a very long time, like a week. Like it was focused really hard on that. I was reading a bunch of different books, not for names, but just trying to find inspiration. And I was looking and then all of a sudden, you know, I've always carried like a bunch of books, you know, to school with me. I would have like a pile like this and then uh, I'd be looking at one of them and I'd always go back and forth between different books. Well, I had a book in my hand, but I think maybe like somehow I knocked one of them down or the one in my hand fell. I don't remember exactly, but um, usually whenever a book falls on the ground, I always check it. I always look to see what page it fell on, just to see if there's a message there or anything. And as soon as I flipped the book over and looked at the page, my eyes immediately went to Akasha Wolf. And, or no, to Akasha. And I'm like, Akasha? I'm like, I really like that name and I'm like, I love that. I love Akasha. That seems right. So I was making sure that I read more into Akasha because I didn't want to just be like, oh yeah, you know, spirit, the pentacle, Akasha, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to read into it more. And, you know, there was also the Akashic records and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? That's it. But when I saw it, I knew that that was it. The wolf part I've had with me forever. Because when it comes to magical names, you can incorporate all kinds of stuff. You can incorporate different languages, you can incorporate numbers, you can incorporate uh, your animal totem or spirit animal, which is what was happening with me when it came to wolf. Wolf has always been there as my animal, my spirit animal. There was times when I had like, you know, tiger come in for like uh, meditation and stuff, but it just never stuck. It was just something that I think was temporary that I was kind of like going through at the time that like the tiger meant something but currently the wolf and octopus it sounds really weird but like the octopus is something else that's been coming at me a lot which makes a lot of sense because it has to do with multitasking and everything like that but wolf has always been there animals will come and go uh, for different reasons and different times in your life like the owl and different stuff, which is another one who's popped up for me. But the wolf has always been there. And as you guys know, I was telling you I was going to be getting a tattoo in Ireland about that, which I'll be talking about in another video. But I had played with wolf for the longest time, like I was going to do a different language for wolf. And uh, just when I said it, like Akasha wolf, it just was right. It felt right. 
And usually when you find your name, you can do a ritual, kind of like binding yourself to that name. And if you guys want to know more about that, um, we can talk about that in a different video or I can even make uh, a video on that for you guys so that way you know when you find your name. So I hope that made sense. If you guys want to see the book that I found my magical name from, I will be posting it on all of my social media. Uh, any announcements I will be having for my readings and everything else will be on my social media as well. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, which I have like the Facebook pages that you need to follow so that way you can get updates. Um, Twitter, I do use Snapchat here and there sometimes. Spells and Magic, I will also be posting there an announcement and I do try to use the Amino apps. So if you guys are still there, I'll try to be active on there again. And on Facebook, I will be trying to clean out um, all my DMs so that that way it's clean again. It gets blocked up when I have these moments where I just disappear for a little while because adulting. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions about uh, magical names and stuff, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will also try to talk to you guys more about that in uh, the live stream. So we'll be talking about that in the live stream. I really, really, really hope you guys will come and check it out. It's going to be the first time I'm doing that and I'm actually kind of nervous. So, <sighs> and I'm also nervous right now too because I'm not wearing foundation because I've started like a new skincare routine and that's like a little weird. I don't know how it looks on camera. But anyways, yeah you guys, I'm so excited. I hope that video didn't seem like ranting. I just wanted to do a video really quick for you guys to get things started because I have a lot more videos planned and I really want to share a bunch of stuff with you guys. I'm trying to get stuff organized because now uh, I basically am going to have like three months I think of a lot of free time so I'm going to try to do a lot of stuff right now but I do want to get back into videos again with the channel. It's a new year let's do this <laughs> and get it done. But yeah, you guys, I super duper miss you guys, love you guys, thank you so much for being with me, because the channel has still been active for some reason since I've been gone, and I really appreciate that. We'll have a giveaway coming up here soon. Uh, I think maybe when I hit like 35,000 or something like that, we'll do a giveaway. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for being with me, being patient with me, and checking on me, because so many of you guys have been checking on me, and... That's like super awesome that you guys think about me and that makes me feel really good. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so that you can be part of the wolf pack. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye and blessed be.